gotta get rid of them bad wind. But they give you uh, fuel and they give you uh, everything that you need to survive. Hey, how long you been doing this? Thirty-three years? I've been since I was about thirty-three. Oh, oh, and how old are you now? Uh, Sixty-one. All right. And you come here every year? Uh, I have been for for a number of seasons. Uh, probably pushing thirty years. Really? And, and and you build this every year? No, no, no. It, it stays here. So I, uh, uh, you know, usually you get you know, just. A place in a field, but then when I was leaving uh, one fall, you know, I looked down uh, this ditch from 237, and nobody was sitting up in the ditch. And you see, this stuff here is no good to anybody. You know, it's uh, it's uh, uh, sycamore and fallen limbs. But I've always made my living off of uh, uh, what had no value to anybody else, and this ditch had no value to anybody else. And so I called the promoter and said, can I rent a ditch? And he said, are you sure you want to rent a ditch? And I said, yeah, how much you charge me? And he said, I don't know how much ditch is rent for. So I said, how about 200 bucks? And he said, okay. And so uh, I built this little deck here. And then last year I built that deck for uh, a mayor, the, uh, the rug market. And there's another deck gone in down there. So the concept of the deck in the ditch wasn't even born until, you know, the birds arrived. I was just using something using a natural, you know, recurring, uh, you know, renewable resource. And uh, this ditch is a renewable resource, I guess. So where are you guys from? I'm from New York. New York. And I'm doing a uh, kind of a freelance thing on just people from the South and this flea market, I guess, and just life in general. Uh, this. This market is probably, this market actually surpasses Brimfield. Uh, oh, really? I, I would think. The, the, I mean, the uh, dynamics of it, the scope of it. Brimfield uh, is pretty much uh, relegated to what you see on Route 20 right there. You know, from the corner, you know, on down to the field. And what if we got, you know, a dozen fields at Brimfield? Uh, but, this, now this, it's not just uh, four miles from Round Top to Warrington, it's the adjoining counties as well. I mean, this far, by scope, this far exceeds Brimfield. And, and you were able to support yourself uh, full time through no, this? Well, well it does, I, I don't need much. That's, Why is that? Well, because uh, uh, where we live, you know, uh, uh, the uh, water runs from the ground there. And we and uh, the electricity is fifty dollars a month, and you know if you just eat good food, you know, and don't go out to McDonald's and all that, you know, well, hell, my son and I can live on uh, twenty-five dollars a week, you know, just you know, buying good bread, you know, uh, uh, juice, milk, cheese, and uh, it, it don't cost as much. You know, you know the deal. Most people, you know, buy way, you know, way too many things they don't need. Ninety percent of what's in Walmart, people don't need. You know, it's just you know packaged and it's shiny, and uh, and so they just gotta have it. It's like I saw something the other day, a seat heater. A know, seat heater. You know, for your for your car. Shit. I mean, yeah. Let's spend let's spend another two hundred dollars for a seat heater. It's nuts. So, so what's your place like where you live? Uh, it's an old stone house. Uh, it was built back in uh, the 30s. But one of the really cool things is that that place has been permanently occupied for, you know, probably 5,000 years by various people at, you know, you know, different points in time. We just happen to be the ones that occupy it presently. Uh, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, ev evidence there's a lot of evidence uh, of that. Yeah. Uh, you mean you you've seen oh. food? Uh... Well, my granddad used to you know plow up the garden right there right beside the spring, and buku 